Hey guys, welcome back to my humble little studio. I am the Kilted Blacksmith, and today we're gonna to be working on the sheath, or I should rephrase, we're gonna be working on working on the sheath. So this is a practice of if I can actually tool leather, as I think I can. So, quick recap, the sax last episode, no, the tang, has been riveted. The back plate has been fastened to the handle. It's all been put together. I did some shaping to the handle. It feels awesome in the hand and it's been sanded and at least preliminarily oiled. I'll probably be oiling it again with more linseed oil after just doing like a fine scuffing on it and it just feels awesome in the hand. It has some grip, it's grippy, and it just, it feels awesome. So <clears throat> that's been done. Now for the sheath, I have a little idea of what I wanted or what I want and I drew it on a piece of paper, just a simple little viking design and then i realized you know i only have so much real estate on this blade to create a sheet i mean it's just a little bit bigger than the sheet than the blade itself the what i have to work with so of these three designs i have thor's hammer on top i have the helm of awe in the middle and then vulcan on the bottom i decided you know what let's just focus on one or two of those so i created an instagram poll and you can follow me on instagram the kilted blacksmith 99 and I said, okay, which one should I do? So I had pictures of all three. Democracy prevailed, you could say, and Volknut had the highest number of votes, Mjolnir in second, and the Helm of All in third. So <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna practice drawing these and tooling these designs in leather by printing off the picture uh, from the internet onto just a piece of eight and a half by 11 piece of paper and then trace it with a little uh, modeling tool onto the leather and create an indention in the leather and then I can go back and finish tooling it out. So that will save me having to grind through drawing and since I've had no training with drawing I'm not all that great at it and also it will be easier for me to tool something that I have already described uh, predetermined lines and I know where it's going because again I'm fairly new with this tooling thing too so that's my plan so this episode's just gonna be me practicing and it may may not have a little bit of the actual sheath making in it at the end so anyway um, again thank you so much for my friend Mike who gave me this wood it is absolutely beautiful this is a cedar burl so anyway let's uh, start tooling
here we go. So I have my drawing. That's my prototype of the sheath. I'm really happy with it. So I have a kind of an Assassin's Creed theme here. So I have the eagle from Assassin's Creed. There's Thor's hammer, Mjolnir, with the Assassin's Creed symbol inside, which is pretty cool. I found that online and traced it out. And then I have in runes, uh, nothing is permitted. I'm sorry, nothing is forbidden. Everything is permitted from the Assassin's Creed game. So then I'll also have the Vulk nut right here. So this is just a, a preliminary design. And that's also what I have traced out on my leather. So I just use a pencil. You can kind of see a big line traced on my piece of leather. So this is going to be fun. Nicely. Okay, quick update. I think I might have screwed something up. So, as you can see, I've been using, I've been doing some black lines on my sheath to draw in the, the wing pattern. Well, I've been using a essentially a sharpie. Not exactly a sharpie, but it's the same thing. So, I can't get this out. So, I was looking online. And I'm gonna to try to use a bottle of rubbing alcohol. Let's see if it'll focus on that. There we go. So 50% rubbing alcohol. Uh, hopefully this works. Um, I'm gonna test it on another piece of leather. I'm just gonna grab a scrap piece and uh, put a line in it. Maybe do a little bit of tooling in it and then let it dry. Put the alcohol on there and hopefully it works. Because I really don't want to start over because I, I my writing, the runic writing, I think is as perfect as I'm going to get it. So I want to le use this piece as a final sheath, hopefully. So we'll see how it goes, and uh, let's just test it. So that's all I can do. I feel like an idiot. Because I used Sharpie. Don't use Sharpie. When you're doing leather, do not use Sharpie. It doesn't come out. I tried uh, rubbing alcohol, I tried denatured alcohol, nothing. Uh, acetone, nothing. It just doesn't work. So, I watched some YouTube videos on how to make a proper sax sheath, and actually I was doing it wrong anyway. You don't cut out the spot and re-sew it for the, uh, for the rub back bit right here. What you do is it's actually one piece and then you just wet form the whole thing. So I'm gonna try that. Hopefully it works and then I will um, redo the whole design. Because I really like this design. Maybe keep the have the, the wing. I think I took it down a little bit too far. Uh, but how I did it with the texture, and obviously you can't feel it, you may not even be able to see it, is I actually went over with a tool on the uh, on the underside or on the, the top of each feather, which is the bottom of the next of the feather above it, and did some tooling where it actually made it feel like the feathers were laying on top of each other. So it's a really it's a really cool effect that I really like, and then I really liked the. Uh, Rune drawing my runes up here, but I guess we'll call this a template for what not to do. So this is technically a fail video, but I think what I'll do is I'll maybe do a tiny bit more tooling on it just to. I mean I can't mess it up; it's already messed up. 
So just to do a little bit more practice on it, like I said at the beginning of the video, this is, video is about practicing leather work. So I now have a giant piece of practice <laughs> leather. When you're making a sheath, don't use Sharpie. Don't. Just, just, just don't. Don't use Sharpie. It's um, bad for you. It'll cause great distress and uh, suffering on your behalf. So yeah, don't do what I did. No, that's basically it. So. Anyway, uh, this is a new type of video, a fail video. <laughs> Unintentionally so. But if you like the video, uh, hit like and if I earned it, uh, hit subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Hopefully I'll have better success or success at all. Anyway, see you guys. Shalom.